Alrighty guys, we are back for some nerfed dragons. I I don't know if it's actually nerfed or not, so there's a question mark there. I mean, the Fearsome Whelp did technically get worse, and so did the Town Razor Tyrant, but honestly, I don't know if it's going to make a difference. We're going to find out today, though. Guys, this is a community brew weekend, so for this part one, you guys are going to let me know what I could change with the deck. I'll do my best to implement your guys' suggestions, and then for part two, which will be tomorrow's video, uh, I, yeah, we'll play the uh, changed deck. That's the plan, right? Guys, for anyone who may not know, I am Red Cat, and I play aggro decks and any decks with red in them as well. Yeah, dragons. It still looks pretty spicy, guys. I went ahead and I uh, threw some... I, I threw this together after seeing what a little bit what the meta was like after we played our dungeon deck. There's a lot of creature decks floating about right now, and we did not run into any control yet, so we got a lot of removal in here, guys. We got four Frostbite, we got two of Braids, four Dragon's Fires, uh, yeah, and then we got four Fierce of Whelps, four Orb of Dragon Kinds, two Demon Bolts, a two Tundra of Fumarols, I think that's how you pronounce that. We got two Maniform Hellkites, four Town Razor Tyrants, four Goldspan Dragons, two burn down the house and two inferno of the star mounts in the mana base we are rocking a couple faceless haven and that's pretty much that okay yeah a lot of removal hopefully we get to do something fancy with the tundra uh humor roll right it was either this or like another a braid and another demon bolt or something like that i figured this would be more spicy because we get to uh, add that colorless for each snow mana spent, which means potentially we could get, like, we could kill a creature or planeswalker and then get a dragon out on the same turn, which would be really powerful, especially if you have something like Maniform Hellkite on the board already, giving you those dragon illusions. That just sounds insane, right? So, yeah. Yeah, it's, that's the deck, guys. I guess um, something else to note the reason we're not running a three to four uh, faceless havens and just a couple instead is being a three three it is actually it, it is a little worse than the four three believe it or not but also uh this sounds silly when i like saying it but for real i don't want to get unlucky with three faceless havens and not being able to play like our turn four dragon and in a deck like this, it could be a turn three dragon, and so even having two faceless havens on the board and a mountain, it means you might miss your turn three town raiser, which I just didn't want it to happen. So yeah, that's why we only got two of those. Other than that, guys, yeah, the plan of the deck, remove that early game, smack dragons into the mid game, and that that's it. Win with your big dragons. Easy peasy. Let's go ahead and hop into some ranked and see how it goes. All right, searching for our first match. Hopefully, I've been explaining the weekend brews well enough. I I need to like I need to write a script is what I got to do. I need to sit down and write it out like, okay, what's the best way I could word how we're doing the weekend brew stuff, right? This is pretty good. This is not bad. I would like to see a third land, but we'll probably draw one, hopefully. <laughs> if not, we have a couple we have a couple uh, tricks up our sleeve until then. Oh, well, that's probably the orb. Yep, that sucks. Oh, good thing we drew a land there, though. They now know what we're going to foretell. But there's nothing else we can really do, so we're going to do it anyways. Get it out of our hand, especially if they have another duress. Okay, nice. At least we're drawing the land we need. Get ready with that Town Razor. See, that could have been a turn three Town Razor with the orb, so. Brush stroke down. Um. Do we Demon Bolt that? Yeah, what the heck. 
I think that's fine. Get it out of here before it gains them too much life. Or, and like, before they get a second one or something ridiculous, right? Gonna go into the town raiser over the orb. Beautiful. Yeah, because we could top deck another land into gold span. And going orb last turn wouldn't have done a lot, except set us up for the gold span. Okay, right of oblivion takes out the town raiser. Okay, dragon's fire. We have that open. That's that. As far as uh, dragons go, guys, I, I mean, it just feels powerful in general, but I'd say that we're up against a deck that this, this could go either way. Like, I want to feel good about this matchup, but I just, I, I don't necessarily. I don't feel bad about this matchup either, though. I just, I don't know. Ooh. Yeah. We're going to do... The removal, I guess. Keep the gold span open, right? I mean, that makes the most sense. Okay, well, we got... <laughs> we got the land. Go ahead and get this down. Swing on in. Get that treasure. They take another two here, potentially, especially if they want to, like, meat hook this turn for four. It'd be insane, actually. They need they need an additional cost. They need to sacrifice a non-land permanent for this. Oh! Luckily, they don't have enough uh, mana to do that now, unless they have one there. Uh, a braid... Okay, so I think we're going to search for a dragon, guys. We'll still have six mana open, so we're looking for an Inferno here. It would be insane. Oh, here's some wealth. You don't do it, buddy. Wow. That is emptiness right there. Sure, here's some wealth. I wonder if the Abraid hits the Blood Artist. We're gonna swing. Yeah, I wonder if we just do that now. Or if we save the a braid to make sure we can get rid of their meat hook. So that way that's not profiting them too much. The the gold span dragon is most likely gonna die here. I'm just gonna keep the abraid open, I think. Do they sacrifice it now? No, they take the two. Dangerous business being at four against the dragon deck. Because we could top deck another gold span. Like, if their plan is just to kill our gold span, we've definitely played enough red to where we, we've top decked plenty of gold spans. Right, so um, X is four. Okay. And we want to target artifact. That's an enchantment, bro. Am I crazy? I'm crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, it's happening. Yeah, we could have targeted the uh, the the blood token, the legendary enchantment, guys. Why did I think that was an artifact? I was doing this in the last video too, although my mind uh, feels much more clear today. Uh uh. That's what I get for not having multiple faceless havens in the deck. Okay, now they get rid of the land, yep. Yeah, so uh, we need to see better draws. Th this, uh, only hitting the fearsome whelp off the orb was pretty devastating, actually. And then drawing into a land there was really bad, too. Like, we, we could hit the Shambling Ghast, but what's that going to do? You know? Yeah, what the heck. We have nothing else. It gets them... It gets them a treasure. 
I can't think of anything else that that abrade is gonna do. And if we get rid of the, if we keep the ghast on the board, they have a target for the right of oblivion. They still have a target with it with the treasure token, but hey, this is a really good draw, guys. Finally, yeah, get we 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 haven't been drawing well this whole time, but that was a really good draw. Okay, they just wanted to get a creature down. Okay. The haste on this whelp might be pretty legit. Okay, because we get that damage through one way or the other. And then we have those other... Have those other demons. I mean, this... this I don't know. <laughs> we just need a little bit more because that meat hook's doing a lot. And then uh, Sanguine Brushstroke got that nerf too where they don't gain life there, which it could be pretty significant as you guys just saw. They could be back up to four right now before the nerf. <gasps> they drew a right of Oblivion. Oh, they didn't hit a... Uh, I guess they wanted to get rid of the flyer because they don't have anything to get rid of the flyer with, maybe? Okay, yeah, they're going to hit a little... Well... Yeah, they're probably going to hit a devil here, too. Wow. All right. Oh, let's go, guys. Let's go. GG opponent. GG, buddy. All right. Dragons. We got there somehow. Other than the embarrassing moment of me thinking Meat Hook was an artifact. That was a pretty good match. So yeah, what what ideas do you guys have for a dragon build? Because dragons have been around for a little bit, but with the nerfs, do you think that there's a better way to do it now? Or do you guys think that the nerfed cards are still just way too good to take out anyways, so we just keep them in and maybe um, build around it a little bit differently, right? Yeah, it's a tough first matchup with all of the removal in our deck. It's like... Okay. <laughs> well, hopefully this isn't uh, the same deck. <laughs> okay, we don't get this until our upkeep now, so let's see if they remove it right away. Yep, they sure do. Oh, uh, dungeons. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, Lost Mine of uh, Findelver. Goblin, Treasure Token. They'll probably go Treasure Token route, I would assume. Well, we got another one opponent. Hopefully, you got more removal, buddy. Either way, the Mana Form drops next turn. Mana Form's particularly good in this deck with all the, uh, all the early game... Uh, instants and stuff all the removal early game Because yeah, you can often just remove something and then just get extra benefit from your mana form Really meat hook for one. Okay. Well, we're seeing the nerf Definitely affect the fearsome whelp here The uh, the switching it to upkeep definitely changed its significance so that's that's important for sure we get to hit that which is awesome i said probably treasure token oh they grabbed the goblin okay um the so dragon's fire sure we'll choose a dragon that i control that's fine target creature Dragon I control. Submit. I lose one life. Opponent loses a lot more life. Don't forget that haste on the fearsome wealth, guys. I almost forgot there. I almost forgot. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of land. Oh! The uh, opponent... Concedes. I'm telling you, the uh, 
It was such a nice little balance shift, making this upkeep, but also giving it haste. Look, a 1-1 one, one flying haste, you know, it's it's all right. It, you know, it's just a little tiny ping for one damage in the face when it comes out. But at the same time, it's, I don't know, it just, you know, it feels balanced. I don't know, though, because we didn't get to see it actually make any of our dragons cheaper that time. The opponent had the removal for two whelps. We just so happened to have a third one there, which it still didn't do anything because, you know... No dragons in hand. But, I don't know, yeah. That was a good one, though. Good one for us, I guess. <laughs> the opponent, uh, I mean, they got a little bit into the dungeon and had some removal. They just must not have uh, seen a way forward with the mana form. Which is interesting. Wow, I don't know. I don't know. Opponent goes first here, guys. That's the problem. They'll have they they'll have three mana with when my when my fearsome whelp is on the board, and we have no guarantees of drawing a land. Ah, what the heck? We won two in a row. We might as well test a hand like this, right? Okay. Three games in a row have been the uh, have been Orzov. One was Orzov uh, dungeons though. So, come on, we need to. I, I need to see a land, or I'm gonna be stressed. Yeah, they definitely have removal open or something. Oh my goodness. The whelp's gonna die, isn't it? We have three Tide Razor Tyrants and no third land. Deadly dispute. Um. That's interesting. They they must have removal, right? They must. There's no way. Because they could have minus one, minus one. And, ki uh, and just killed the whelp last turn. Yeah, meat hook. Yeah, so that's... That's a third whelp down where... Uh, no land. Yeah, two two games, three whelps down, no buff from the whelp, or uh, or no benefit from those three whelps. So it's something to think about for sure. I still don't think it's bad enough to take out a dragon deck. So I, I still think it's pretty good. Yeah, no mana here, guys. That that's a shame. We'll ditch a gold span, and then we'll ditch a town raiser next turn if we don't get a land. What do they do here? When you sacrifice it, or another clue. Okay. Look at the creature cards in your opponent's hand. Okay? Question mark? Yeah, so we still need another land. <laughs> it was not a keepable hand. But to be fair, uh, the odds were in our favor for drawing a land in these uh, last few turns. To be fair, but... Yeah, we get three three colorless here, but we don't get to do anything fancy with it. I guess technically we, we could have held that back and tried to do fancy things with the mana form. But I don't really want them to keep a Blood Artist on the board either. So I think that's fine. Yeah, guys, weird, uh, weird matchups here. Three games in a row, Orzov. Hopefully we get to see something different next match. So they, get, they get to go into the spell book. Can I see the spell book for this card? Wait. Here it is. Wait. Question mark? There we go. Okay. Well, crap. Looks like they they could get some pretty good removal here, which they probably want.
Okay. Oh, 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 land. Let's go. What do we what do we play? Who am I? What do I do? Two. Get three back. We, we still need a fifth mana at some point. I'm just gonna go into the town raiser. We have a, a couple. I think I'm gonna target the sanctum first. That could be good, I guess. Yeah, just ditch the land. You got enough, eh, buddy? I mean, with the treasures, they... Oh, yeah, they definitely got enough. Is this... Is this what gets removed? Right of Oblivion. Okay. It's a good thing we got rid of that uh, Blood Artist, guys. They have another right uh, open when they need it. This card's actually really good, isn't it? With that flashback. Actually really good. Okay. That's a, that's a board over there. Opponent has a board. Get three colorless back, but everything here takes two red. So we're seeing the, the Tundra Fuma roll here not do a whole lot. Potentially, I don't know. That that's probably one of the cards we end up taking out for you guys' suggestions. We need to try to get a blocker down, unfortunately, guys, and they have the removal for it right away with the right of oblivion. So yeah, we're just gonna drop the town razor. Maybe they don't see it. <laughs> they definitely see it. I mean that's that's all we got, guys. If we... Yeah. I should have mulliganed, but at the same time... There was a very high chance of actually drawing land throughout it. Get the GG ready. Really? Oh, I mean, yeah. That works. They could they could sacrifice any of these, though. Oh, they're going for the deadly dispute. You know what? Play it out, buddy. You might have some quests that you need to get done. That's 100% okay. There it is. Another Rite of Oblivion, actually. That's not even the flashback. Not even the flashback, bro. Yeah, GG, guys. Um, hopefully the fourth match isn't up against Orzhov, because I really want to test dragons against other things. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, hopefully you guys are brewing up ideas for me. Because I'm curious. Like, yeah, this is one of those things I really wanted to test the nerfed dragons. And, yeah, we've, we've seen that the Fearsome Whelp, switching it to upkeep has made it like a fair card, which is... It, yeah, it's a nerf, like a big nerf, for sure. But like I said, though, the haste is pretty spicy. Uh, we go first. We don't have any ramp into the town racer. But what the heck. We have the land. That's Right now, that's all I care about. We could actually play something. The opponent got a couple free turns last time. Bro, no. No! What? Is this what everyone's playing right now? You know what? No. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. You get your treasure. You don't get to deadly dispute your shambling gas this time. Nice. I'm glad we did that. Because that, that would have eaten a minus one for sure. Let's see if it survives this time, guys. Turn three town raiser? Might survive. It survived. Let's go, that hits this too. Pretty spicy. This looks like mono black instead of Orzhov. It's still like a similar deck though, which is disappointing. They kept everything open. Burn down the house available for next turn. Must be removal for the town raiser. If they kept it all open, they might have been anticipating a gold span.
I'm gonna let them keep their curse bound witch. So no removal for the town raiser. That's good news. Deadly dispute. They'll have five mana open here. So if they have another mana, this could be a blood on the snow. Oh, it's a blood on the snow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. That's okay. Um, we could kill that. Um, I think I will kill that. Let them get their treasure again. Because I'm going to swing in with these devils. I, I don't want the devils to just die right away. I want them to actually have a chance to win the game for me. Because a couple turns unchecked is all we need. Right, because if they, if they take the two damage here, they could play another land, second blood on the snow. And then we still get three damage through. But that'll put them at one. So they, yep, they sacrifice the land, which means we're safe from a blood on, on the snow this time round. Guys, I'm feeling more burn down the house, but that's probably just because we've been up against, like, pretty much the same deck every single time. Dang, Frostbite eats the dust. Oh, crap. Guys, we need to, we need to get this out of the hand before they make us discard it. Oh, we need to see that land on the top. Darn it. Yeah. Losing the frostbite's huge there. We gotta swing in because there's no guarantee that they don't just uh, completely wipe the board any- No! <laughs> Inferno! No! <laughs> Guys, that's brutal. That's rough. That hurts my feelings. Okay. Dang. Um, I think same concept. We want to swing now. That way they don't get like benefits from a meat hook or something. Like any extra amount to go through. Dang, that couldn't have gone, couldn't have gone better for the opponent getting the two city stalkers. Which, by the way, let's talk about it. Right, this is a really good card actually. Because, like, this just gets, like, Hallbreaker out of your opponent's hand and stuff, which is insane. And then, and then now look at it, right? <gasps> it doesn't target anything over there. Look, the nerf coming into play again, and there's no way they don't have removal for this? Oh, no, guys. We have to play it because they could have another City Stalker or worse. There's no way they don't have removal. This is this. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat. Yeah, they can start gaining life from the um, blood artist too here. Uh, lots of cards we can draw to win the game. Uh, burn down the house. Uh, gold span dragon. I mean, they're at one. A fearsome whelp top, top deck would be insane too. They're probably not going to be at one by the end of this, but we'll see. And another instance where the Sanguine Brushstroke with that nerf, they would have been at two. And they would have been at three here, too. That's just something to think about for sure. Yeah, we're taking we're taking it. No blocks. There's a chance that they didn't see the removal. They got the blocker though. That's I think I think that's it, guys. <gasps> <sighs> Gasp? They they have two open. Sure, choose a dragon I control. Or we could just decline, do three damage. That's fine too. I'm gonna... Nah, we'll choose a dragon. We'll be fancy with it. Choose dragon. Four damage. What you rocking? What you got for me, opponent? We got it! Let's go! <laughs> oh my goodness! 
I thought that blocker was just gonna do it because what are the odds that we uh that they didn't have something or that we actually drew what we needed there? Woo! Dragons still feel pretty spicy, but I, I'm definitely feeling the nerfs too, so. Alright guys, let's go one more match. We would have played uh, five matches then. We'll try to get that victory for an 80% win rate then. Yeah, these were pretty good matches today, guys. It's too bad that all four matches were up against relatively similar decks, though. Well, not the second one. To be fair, just because it's Orzhov doesn't mean it's the same type of deck. It just happened... You know, it just happened to be the same colors as all the other decks we fought. Yeah, second match was Dungeons, which was pretty sweet. Rocking the meat hook in, the, in that version of Dungeons. Which, yeah, the Dungeons we played the other day definitely needed more removal. So. Okay. Dang, okay. Um, this is one of, this is another one of those where if we okay I'm keeping it if we don't see a third land this time then it just wasn't meant for us today <laughs> okay we have a chance to do fearsome whelp goodies here I'm gonna go whelp over orb There's no guarantee that they actually have removal for this Green white going up against Selesnia. Okay. Basic land. Look at that. And okay, no land, but that's okay because we have Orb of Dragon Kind. I think is better than just taking out their forest right now. Even if they do get a little bit of ramp from it. We, well, there's no guarantee that we just draw a third land next turn, as we've learned. My goodness, we're, we're struggling finding land today. <laughs> yeah, another land. There you go, buddy. Ooh, there we go. There we go, guys. Okay, how do I want to do this? Probably as aggressively as possible. Over. So... Over killing their stuff. I'm I'm letting them ramp. We're going in aggressively here. I think that's acceptable. Get the town razor. Watch a board wipe just just wreck my day. Maybe I should kill one of these so they can't tap it down. Opponent. Oppo opponent, I still have so much more time in the video. <laughs> GG, buddy. GG. I mean, we could, we could. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Dragon nerfs not doing a lot right now. Apparently, eighty percent win rate. We might as well call it there, guys. On a on a high note, right? We got to see, like. It's the same concept. If you don't have an answer for Fearsome Whelp, then it's devastating. The thing is, the opponent has longer now to deal with it. Um, so it just se it feels balanced. It just does. And the haste, I love that they added the haste on it. Town Razor still hits a lot. I can only imagine. Oh, guys, that's something else. If we would have had four Faceless Havens, more targets for the mirror match to actually hit our Faceless Havens with the Town Razor. So that's an, that's an interesting thought there too. Tundra Fumarole. I thought it was gonna do more. We did get to do a fancy thing with it and get burned down the house as well, but I don't think these are worth it, really. Maybe, they might be, I, I don't know. Um, it's probably the card that we cut first though. I think Frostbite is just one of those things. I think it's back, guys. We're seeing a lot of creature decks right now. I, I think that Frostbite's a good, like, a solid removal for the deck. We were about to remove one of those lands before the opponent conceded there, which is really valuable. 
a braid is in here for the artifact thing, the, the artifact problem. You know, key to the archive, but we haven't seen any control since the uh, update, so I don't know. Yeah, guys, so like I said, community brew, make sure you guys get some uh, suggestions in the comments, and I will go ahead and get those suggestions implemented into the deck, and then for tomorrow's video, we're gonna we're gonna play some more dragons, dragons part two, which sounds pretty fun to me. <laughs> Hope it sounds fun to you guys as well. Uh, something else, guys. Inferno of the Star Mounts. There was a few times where we would have liked to see that see this more often. Like especially, could you imagine just top decking this in some of those later matchups? So and actually being able to play it too, though. Let's be real. So maybe maybe three of them. We probably want more burned down the house too, but I'm gonna go ahead and wait to see what you guys come up with first. Um, Orb of Dragonkind se seemed pretty valuable overall, so I think Fearsome Whelp and Orb stay. Yeah. I think that's everything, guys. Hey, thank you so much for making it all the way through the video. You guys are freaking champions, so yeah, thank you. I uh, hope you enjoyed the matches, because I did. I am right at home playing some good old-fashioned Mono Red. Uh, I mean, this isn't like Mono Red aggro, but still, you know, just that just that red all the way through. I love it. Guys, thank you. Thank you for being here. You guys are awesome. I will see you in the next video.